What's going on, guys? Hey, it's Anthony here at The Breakout Daily. Thank you guys for tuning in. Brand new show. If you guys have not hit subscribe, hit the subscribe button down below. Today, guys, we have 13. We're going to go try to go through these as quick as we can. 13 of the Walmart exclusive Marvel packs. Um, again, we're going to try to go through as fast as we can um, and try to keep this video semi-short, so stay tuned. guys again thank you for tuning in i'm anthony this is the breakout daily today we're mixing it up i've got 13 walmart packs if you're not aware most local walmarts carry these special packs there has been a lot of things said about these packs on pulling crazy exclusives i will say and you're going to see me say this several times over a lot of these covers that you're going to see are walmart exclusives so this is shang chi or shang chi and the 10 rings. This is the Walmart exclusive variant right off the top. The same for this Miss Marvel Moon Knight, Walmart exclusive. This book has been selling for about 15 bucks raw. These packs come in right around nine bucks, give or take with taxes. They're about nine bucks and you get three comics. I have not been very fortunate to find these. In fact, for this video, I found more than 13 packs, but I left more than half of them there. Um, and thought it would be cool to do a video on this. I'm not gonna be able to hit everything because I don't want this to be a super long video, but we're gonna run through and try to call out what we see. Again, what I'm seeing so far all the way across is the first book is a exclusive. So we're gonna dive into these, but before I do, again, guys, hit the subscribe button here on YouTube. Check us out over at Instagram at breakperiod.daily. And of course, if you're in the market or want to hang out with us over on the WhatNot app, you can find us there at Breakout Daily as well. That's my plug. Let's dive into these books. All of them have a backer board on them. Um, they're not bagged and boarded. I do have a stack of bags and boards right next to me. So we will be doing that at least until I run out of bags and boards that I pulled. Let's see if we can get these guys open. Light cellophane. Anyways, three books per pack. Um, I watched videos early on right during COVID and some guys pulled some crazy books out of these packs. So again, the first one on this is the Walmart exclusive Shang-Chi and the Ten Rings right there. So that is a Walmart exclusive. I think that book, when I looked it up earlier, is going for like five bucks. And again, I will probably miss some of this because I will look up a couple of these books, but I want to go through these as fast as I can. Knights of X number one that looks like possibly a one in ten i could be wrong when i say that uh, but that looks similar to like the x corp i believe was a one in ten there's that book this one was flipped backwards what do we got hulk number seven that is cool second printing so hulk number seven second printing was the one flipped backwards and again, you get random books because I have done these. I've done the DCs before. Not a lot, though. Hulk 7, second printing. That, I was just wondering if that was the full appearance of Titan Hulk, but I don't believe that is because I think what Hulk number three is the first cameo. I don't know. All right, this one is uh, Captain America Zero, Alex Ross cover. And again, I'm going to rip through these fairly quick. If I see anything that catches my eye, we'll look it up. But like I said, all of these that I've seen so far, when I looked up the, the cover books, they are all exclusives. There's subtle differences between these covers and the whatnot, or not whatnot, the uh, Walmart variants. Um, generally, it's a different color font or a different shade in the background, but it's still the same as cover A. Here's that Captain America Zero. Alex Ross does call it a variant, so I'm assuming that must be as well. You have to watch the condition on these books because I did buy a batch. Like I found two like three or four months ago and they were pretty, pretty damaged. And this one is too. Black Widow, the blinds variant. I like these variants, super cool. And then the last one in the stack, I'll show you in a second. Again, I'm gonna try to rip through these. Um, 
Hawkeye Kate Bishop, number four. Let's see. That's a cool cover. Nice little book there. Let me get this guy in a bag and board. Okay. Let's keep it going. Uh, new Fantastic Four, number one. That is a Walmart exclusive. Let's see what we get. Yeah, there was guys, so I recall, and you can watch the videos on YouTube, during the pandemic, some of these guys were pulling like one in 1,000s out. This guy, unfortunately, does have um, a fold on the cover. That sucks. Todd now. Oh, that's cool. That is a cool variant. And again, most of these will probably need to be pressed at minimum because they sit, they're not fully poly bagged. That's why we're throwing them in bags. I'm not closing them up. I got to go through them. I'll press some of them. Some of them I'll do giveaways with on the whatnot stream. This is a cool one. This is Absolute Carnage versus Deadpool number two, second printing. That is cool. I don't know that that's worth anything, but I still feel like that's a pretty cool cover. You, of course, got Carnage. You got Deadpool. So a lot of uh, second prints so far and kind of just commons. But uh, again, for the most part, that Walmart exclusive um, almost covers the value of it. Uh, Darth Vader, number 14, thrown in there. That guy definitely needs a press. I feel like the middle and back book look worse than the, the front book. And a lot of that is just due to, again, What's going on? All right, Miss Marvel and Mood Knight. Again, this book, when I looked it up, was selling for about 15 bucks. Again, Walmart exclusive. Let's see what we get. I haven't seen anything crazy or anything that I'm like overly familiar with, with being a big book yet. Well, that doesn't mean, you know, we have 13 chances to pull something that is, uh, that is cool and maybe different. So we will have to see if we get lucky. Okay, Miss Marvel. Okay. There's that book again. Walmart exclusive. Okay, that's not too too bad. Next one is X-Men Red number 1. I don't know if that is the A cover. And then what is this book? Again, this one was flipped over. What is this book? Visit Magic or Majestic Madripoor. A place for the very rich and the very poor. That is cool. Stormbreakers. X-Men. Oh, this one. That's a crazy cover. X-Men 11. Let's look this one up real quick because I've never seen this book before. X-Men gonna look it up real quick 11 while I bag and board throw this in there that is a cool I like that cover that's sick visit majestic madripoor okay so I'm assuming this is from 2022 yeah okay so this is the Carmen Carano stormbreakers variant that's cool four, four bucks five bucks four bucks all right, let's do a uh, let's do a Shang Chi. We've got this Shang Chi, and then it looks like we've got another Shang Chi that is not a Walmart exclusive. Let's take a look at this one. So nothing crazy yet, guys. Nothing crazy yet. Still feel like for nine bucks or eight bucks. Okay, so this is exactly the same as the pack earlier: Shang Chi and the Ten Rings. Walmart exclusive, Knights of X, number one, and then Hulk seven, second printing. So the exact same kind of sucks. Hopefully the others are not exactly the same. Hopefully we get some variations in there. I think that Knights of the X, it says it is the design variant. I think that is the one in 10. Okay, one more to go. Let's see if I can find one we have not opened yet. Maybe we'll get lucky. We got, well, we got 13, so we got lucky number 13. 
So we've got two more Miss Marvels. Oh yeah, let's do this one. This is cool. This book is a key. And we've got a couple. Yeah, we got quite a few more. Um, this is Edge of the Spider-Verse. And this is Edge of the Spider-Verse number one. And this is a key, and it is also um, a Walmart exclusive. So let's see if this guy's packing some heat. So I think this is like a $10 book, eight to $10 book off the cover. So the book, that one book could pay for the rest of it. Hopefully we get some, some decent books behind it here. Walmart exclusive corner is dinged up. So we will definitely have to press this guy, try to get it back into a little bit better shape. So there again is that guy. Amazing Spider-Man number two, John Romita cover. It's a cool book, nice to see something different. And then we got the What If Miles Morales became Wolverine. That is What If number two. So not, not a bad pack. I mean, nothing, I have yet to see anything crazy though in here. So let's do this one. This is an oddball, this is Shang-Chi 12 on the cover of this one. Does call it a variant. Let's check that one real quick. Okay. P. Number 12. Well, it's doing its thing. I'm gonna crack this guy open. I'm assuming this is, free. yeah, it has to be because I don't have any other options. Okay, so this is the Salvador La Roca. So they did do a variant for number 12. Salvador La Roca, again, this book's been going for about five bucks. It's a nice cover. It says Guru under the bottom. Right there, definitely needs to be pressed. I mean, so, so far, again, I feel like for like nine bucks, you're doing pretty good. The only thing that sucks is the varying conditions on these. This one, I am, both of these I am familiar with. Captain America, this is a second print Alex Ross cover. And then we have the second printing Wolverine patch number one right there. That is that second second version. So again, nothing crazy. I'm hoping to get something, something, I, not necessarily crazy, but something kind of cool. All right, so we got, what do we got left? Two Shang-Chi, two Miss Marvel, and a... Uh, Edge of Spider-Verse in an Avengers 1000. So let's do the doubles and get those out of the way. Up front, we know the cover on these books. So I'm gonna go through these fairly quick. Unless, hopefully we pull something different though, because I'm gonna be a little bit let down if the whole, these copy packs are exactly the same thing. Okay, so this one isn't. Miss Marvel, again. And then I'm gonna just put these down all bag and board afterward. Now we got Ghost Rider number three. That's a cool ass cover. I think that's just the A cover. Yep. So, and then we got Spider Man 2099 Exodus Ron Lim cover on that guy. That is cool. Put that guy on board. That is a variant. Okay. Let's do the other Shang-Chi and see. Yeah, again, I, you know, seeing guys pull freaking one in 1,000, one in 100, that was, that was freaking, you know, an initiative or an incentive, I guess, to, to, to pay a close attention. I don't traditionally go to Walmart. Um, but let's see if we can pull anything crazy. I mean, so far, the Walmart exclusives, I mean, at least they're number ones. Uh, condition varying. See if I can clean some of them up, which is unfortunate. Um, here's the Shang-Chi again. We already went over that three times. We're going to go over that one one more time. This is a different pack. Bounty Hunters number 25. This is... Bounty Hunters versus the Knights of Ren. That's cool. Oh, this is cool. Okay. 
This is the uh, the Con King Conan number one collage. I actually do dig these covers. I know it's probably not worth much, but I think that's cool. Let's throw that guy in the bag of board. I think I'm gonna end up having to go grab more bags and boards, but we'll do that after we're gonna get a couple more left. All right, let's do, let's save the two. Let's save the two that we we did one of and one we have not done any of. Let's do whatever this one is. Flip it over too fast. Let's do another Shang-Chi. And guys, we only got three more packs to go. I, uh, I Unless that Ron Lim Spider-Man 2099 is something insane. I don't know that we're going to get anything insane, but we're going to find out here pretty dang quick on whether we are gonna hit anything big, you know? And again, maybe maybe they backed off the chase books and all the big stuff. This is, I've got a feeling this is gonna be the same as I just pulled. And it is, so exactly the same, that sucks. So Shang-Chi again, and we get Bounty Hunters 25. Same, exactly the same pack, so Bounty Hunters 25. And then that King Conan collage. But that is unfortunate. I'm just gonna bend that guy a little bit. I'm trying to move too quick. Anyways, all of these are gonna end up, like I said, they're gonna sit over with the uh, grading stack. All right, last uh, last Miss Marvel, guys. Let's let's hope for the best on this one. Come on, baby. Let's get something good on this. Something good. And then we've got Edge of the Spider-Verse and Avengers, um, which we have not opened any Avengers. We did open, I think, two of the Edge of the Spider-Verse. So we got one Edge of the Spider-Verse left, and then we've got that Avengers 1000 BC. Let's see. Uh, okay, so that one's different. Okay. So again, Miss Marvel Moon Knight. We did get another Ghost Rider 3. I was a little concerned because it was like, damn, are they going to throw in the same freaking book? And they did not. They threw in a Hulk versus Thor Banner of War Part 1 Alpha variant. So let me look this one up real quick to see what this is. Maybe this is an incentive. Maybe it's not. And it's just a, another basic book but that one was different so Hulk versus Thor that should be easy to look up Hulk versus Thor okay let's see what that one does there it is 2022 let's take a look uh, this is the yeah Trevor Von Eden Milnor Crash it's a five dollar book so all right let's do last edge of spider verse and then we have avengers one million bc so let's see what we get in this one so again i mean i feel like you get you definitely get some commons and then you get some cool variants um no no big incentives i've seen unless again i glazed over one um but i'm not seeing any huge incentives at this time um, however, like I said, some of these, oh, there's another one. That's cool. I mean, these Edge of Spider-Verses are still really cool. So we got another one of those, and then we did, I don't even have to change the page on this one, I just need to look it up. And then we got the Trevor Von Eden Hulk Smash variant, which that's actually kind of cool. So now we've got both variants to that. Again, a $5 book, and we got another blinds book. So that's that's not a bad one. I mean, that's what, 15, maybe $20 worth of books. The Wolverine blinds. Not too, not too shabby. And maybe, maybe I left all the big books sitting on the shelf, unbeknownst to me. This was the only one in the pack that I saw of this Avengers right there let's see what's in this pack the one of one the only one out of the whole stack
the only one. Okay. There we go. And that is a cool ass cover. Let me look this one up real quick. This is the last stack, guys. Avengers. There it is. Came, also came out in 2022, and that's the last bag and board on this uh, on this one I have. Okay, Ryan Stegman homage, and then Walmart exclusive. So five bucks on that one. We got the Star Wars 22, and I don't know. This is a that is an action figure variant of Star Wars 22. I don't know if this is anything special. That's a cool book. Oh, this is kind of cool. So let's check that real quick. This is the last set, guys. I don't know if Star Wars 22 is anything special. Star Wars and any Star Wars guys probably pissed off that I don't know that, but I don't. Well, okay, so from 2022, I'm guessing action figure variant. Four bucks, John Tyler Christopher. This one's pretty cool though, this last book. So that's a new book and then Iron Man 20, let me look this up. That's the net. The last book is Iron Man 20. And this is a variant. That is a cool cover. The original is an Alex Ross. Okay, so and this is the Betsy Cola variant right there. So again, the, you know, about 15 bucks. I think on that set, 15, yeah, right around 15 bucks. So not not anything crazy in this set, guys, but that is 13 Walmart exclusive packs. I mean, I feel like some of the books are good. There are a lot of number ones, a lot of Walmart exclusives. Um, I feel like for nine bucks, nine bucks is roughly the price of two books. You had an extra book for free. Most of the books are decent variants or number ones. So I feel like, is it worth nine bucks? Yeah. Um, is there chase books? That's really my question. Are they continuing to do chase books? I believe they are. Um, we just didn't get any. We did get a lot of cool Walmart exclusives though. And I'm excited to have those. And I think I've got some cool giveaway books for the whatnot stream everywhere else. Guys, that's what we got for you. Thanks for joining in. Thanks for watching us here. Make sure and hit the subscribe button down below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, drop a comment. If you have a comment, check us out over on IG at breakperiod.daily. And of course, if you guys want to buy some books or hang out with us on live streams, check us out over on the WhatNot app. Guys, we'll catch up with you later.